Well, if you have kids or grandkids, you've likely noticed how quickly they grow out of clothes and shoes. The same is true of books, too, but there's a chance this weekend to pass them along to three worthy causes. Here to tell us more, organizer Wendy Townley. Welcome back, Hi, Wendy. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You are welcome. You're behind this book drive. This is a new event. That's right. Um, it's happening this weekend. What's going on? So lots of moving parts to the event. Um, we are, there are seven of us who are organizing the book drive, and we are all participating in a group called Leadership Omaha. Mm -hmm. And it's a um, nine-month leadership program through the Greater Omaha Chamber. We're charged with doing a small group project. We decided after many conversations that we love literacy and childhood literacy. So we got to talking and said, what if we organize a book drive? Um, we were talking to young parents and many of them said exactly what you did. Their mm -hmm. children have grown out of the books they have. The parents don't necessarily want to get rid of the books, but they want them to go to a good home. And so um, we said, let's organize this. We'll put out the word and see who shows up. So it's happening this Saturday um, out at Loveland Center in the parking lot at 90th and West Center. And between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m., we're inviting the community to pull up just kind of in drive-through fashion with books, new or gently used for mm -hmm. children and teens. And then we will collect them, send you on your way. And then after we're done on Saturday, we're gonna distribute the books to Completely Kids, Kids Can Community Center and Lutheran Family Services, which are three wonderful nonprofits in Omaha that do a lot of work in our community. But more importantly, they care about literacy and want to send the children who visit their facilities home with books to keep. So we're gonna hopefully stock their shelves, maybe bursting to the seams, we'll find out. Well, I think that's, you know, what you just pointed out. It's it's hard when you're a parent and you have a book and you're like, you have memories of reading that exactly. bedtime with a kid. And this is a way to know they're going to, to someone else. You you mentioned yeah. the littlest kids, but all the way up to teens. Is there anything specific that you know that you'll need more of or that the organizations are asking you for specifically? Well, definitely the teen books are in need. Mm -hmm. um, I know that if, if you think about as a parent, I don't have children, but in talking with parents, they really load up on books. When their children are younger, they get them as gifts. But as kids get older, they may not necessarily be getting those books. Um, so there aren't maybe enough within the community to pass on to these nonprofits. So anything in the teen range up through high school, and we're talking like Harry Potter, um, immediately jumps to mind. There's mm -hmm. so many in that genre, especially now, um, that are popular that is known as either teen or young adult, but we will accept those, as well as books starting out you know for the littlest ones too. Um, what reaction are you getting from the organizations that you're helping? Because I'm imagining yeah. this is a real need for them. Yeah, it's huge. And, and one of the things that so many nonprofits will tell us is they obviously need dollars throughout the year. Sure. They're constantly fundraising. But among all of the services that they offer, books is a constant need because they want to have books available um, within their facilities. But they also want the luxury of being able to, if a child sees a book and picks it up, that the child can take the book home and keep it, which is not the case, mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're at your neighborhood book. Bookstore. So this is re really giving them the luxury of sending books home for children and families. To yeah, keep. having something that's their own. Yes. It's just so important to have that yeah. ownership. Um, there's also some extra incentive. Most people yes. are just happy to do a good deed, but it's nice right. when they get a little something else as well. That's right. Tell us more about that. So the businesses within Loveland Center have been great partners. Um, a handful of them have come forward already. The Bookworm, um, there's a nail salon and spa, and then also Dunkin' Donuts. They've all come forward and said, we, we want to help. We'll hand out coupons or gift cards to families as they're donating books on Saturday. So that's another little incentive to making your donation of books um, is you'll get some gift cards. And we also have information that we'll give you about those nonprofits so you can read up a little bit more on who's getting your books. Obviously show up, drop off your books. Yeah. That's an easy way to get involved. Uh -huh. Are there other things you would encourage the community to do if somebody is like, oh, I really want to help in this cause? Yeah, so we're also accepting cash donations. We're doing an online um, fundraising campaign and you can find it through our uh, Facebook page. Which by you just, see on the screen yes, conveniently right now. Which your wonderful producers and directors have queued <laughs> up, so thank you. But if you just search for Turn the Page Book Drive on Facebook, we've posted the link in there on where you can click and make a donation. And Usborn Books, um, which is a national company mm -hmm. has partnered with us and they will match 50% of all donations. So if you, if you make a $50 donation, that equals $75 worth of books that we can then purchase. So after we donate books on Saturday, we'll make a purchase with our funds and then make another delivery to the three nonprofits. So and it just keeps going and going. When all of us who've had little kids that have grown up, I think are familiar with the Osborne books. They're definitely some of the favorites. Yeah. Um, just one more question. If sure. people heard about Leadership Omaha and they're kind of intrigued to find out more, yeah. how can they get involved with that organization? So 
again, that's through the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce, and I'd suggest just hopping online um, to the Chamber's website, and um, if you just search there for Leadership Omaha, you can learn more. We are class 39, which means they've been doing it for the past 39 years. So this coming year in the fall, 2017-18 uh, will be the 40th class. We are by far the best out of all of them <laughs> so far, but um, I've met a number of Leadership Omaha alumni in the community, and it's, it's been a great opportunity. Well, and I think that's something too. You think about like high school students or college students doing service projects. Yeah, it's nice to see grown-ups grown getting to do it too right. and have a little bit of fun. Exactly. Um, let's remind our viewers of the hours and the sure. location one more time before you we let you go. Yep. So it's happening this coming Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 at Loveland Center. Um, that's the shopping center, the relatively new one at 90th and West Center. We will be in the parking lot. We have volunteers uh, lined up who will help guide you in. You'll just pull in. We, we will descend on your vehicle, take the books, hand you um, information and gift cards and you'll be on your way. Awesome. Yeah. Great project. Tell the rest of your wonderful cl Thank class. You. Congratulations. Thank and you. And good luck. I hope you get a ton of books. Great. And good weather. We need good weather. Here's hoping. Yes. Thanks, Wendy. Yeah. Thank you. All right.